Hi everyone, Jin here. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to put my Balik Bayan bags together tonight. So, my Balik Bayan bags content is this kind of like I'm trying to get this, uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, granola bars. It's a uh, kind, is the brand name of that. I am, I'm having this uh, Altoids. I'm going to have some of this uh, Bath and Body Works uh, lotion. I have some toothbrush, I have some aspirin, the baby aspirin, ibuprofen, of course I have some of this uh, uh, hot cocoa mix, and some friends of me also donated, the, a friend of mine, they donated like this, um, the odorant, body lotion, a bar of soap, and like pens, writing pens. I have quite a few of that and then the writing paper envelopes right there and like I said toothbrush what else I have some toothpaste also there on the back there and some puzzles for the kids and I have three cases of this uh, uh, Vienna sausage uh, so each um, case it has like 18 of them so I have about uh, three cases of that and I have, like I said, uh, five boxes of this, 50 little sachet on a box. So I have five of them, and excluding this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off the box because the box takes us more room and I would like to pack it in a way that, you know, I can use every nook and crannies of my box. And I have some uh, um, lip balm here also. Oh, this was... Uh, friends of mine again they donated some lip balm so I'm gonna send this to friends um, my family and friends in my hometown and I have this they sent they bought also this hand sanitizer so everybody can use it when it gets there and the favorite part most of the uh, most of the girls and ladies in the Philippines of course lipstick yeah, they got some lipstick here and and, and this kind of like um, cream, you know, face cream and hard candies. And let's see, I have toys, also cars, and, you know, for the boys, little boys. And I had another hand sanitizer. And let's see, I have that Land of Lakes uh, Cocoa Mix also. And I have this, um, I got this. Uh, instant uh, Starbucks instant coffee also I'll send that as well and let me see hard candies is another one of these and I have some um, clothing also that's been um, I have it packed and individually names so those are the things and I have some more there <laughs> and I have some purses here also that it will be put together on the box so uh, let me just see if I can, if hopefully everything would fit in there. I have some like t-shirts, you know, white t-shirts for men. There's like uh, 12 of them, I guess, in here. And I have this uh, little backpack. And I'm just going to put them together today. I have some fillers also just in case my bags have hard candies. Um, but I'm going to try to put them together in the bags tonight. And if my box, if everything here doesn't, you know, I still have room for the box, then I go back to the store and, and get some more to kind of fill my box in. So that's going to just give you guys an idea. This are the content of in my box. So I'm going to start putting them together and I will kind of give you an idea also how I box them together. See, for now, that's what's in my box. My The three cases of... Uh, Vienna sausage and then my uh, toothpaste and some kind of band-aid and a hand sanitizer and I'm still working on that. And two also uh, to those who ask that um, how long I've been in the United States, it's not really very long. Um, it's I've been here for uh, only 26 years. That's why I still have the accent <laughs> but uh but my daily interaction is americans i speak english every day so i don't have very much interaction with tagalog and for all that years you know um that's why i have a hard time my my if i speak tagalog so my accent is very heavy 
Of course, Cebuano slash Visaya have a heavy accent anyhow. We sounds like we're mad all the time. It's because of our accent. And so that's what my Tagalog would be like as well. But I have not forgotten my language for sure. And I mixed up, I tried to mix up my my Tagalog and my Cebuano so that everybody can have a little bit of everything. But two, I was gonna say is that, um, like I said, my interaction, daily interaction is Americans. And so, and being a Cebuano, if I will do a, a Cebuano vlog, so that means only Cebuano can understand it, what about the Tagalog one? And then if I do Tagalog, you guys would be laughing at me because of my accent. So I figured, um, you know, every Filipino, we don't care if it's Tagalog, Cebuano, Visaya, Ilongo, everybody understands English. We might not able to speak English fluently as we would like to, but we all understand no matter where you are part of, in the Philippines. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. So if I do English, everybody would have a little bit of something uh, that understands, of course. So that's why I came in with my English. <laughs> and as you can tell, I still have difficulty with my English too. So uh, I'm just kind of trying to mix it up. Like I said, uh, Tagalog here and there. And sometimes Cebuano or Tagalog might pop up here and there, but uh, it's just how uh, we, I talk around. <laughs> so um, anyhow, uh, ito ngayon, ang, ito ngayon ang, uh, ang laman ng, uh, ng balikbayan box ko. So padala ko to sa, sa I sent this back to the Philippines sa mga Bisaya naman. So, uh, Nagpapasalamat din ako sa mga Bisaya na nag uh, nag-support sa vlog na ito and 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 also yung nag um nag-subscribe sa channel ko. Um so I'm just like I said I'm trying my best. You guys may, will make fun of me but that's you know that's that's part of it. What well, it's not it's not really I mean vlogging is not really like more of a serious matter. <laughs> It's just for fun, why not, you know? Life is too boring to be so serious about it. So, yep, um, then again, like I said, I said, I warn everyone that not every balik bind box are the same. So, I do what I think that my family would like or my friends would like. And, uh, and if they don't like it, then I always tell them, if you guys don't like it, you can always like, you know, sell it, you know, and make money out, out of it instead of just keeping it even though you don't like it. So that's another option. So um, that's how I do things. Uh, for sure, like I said, it takes a while to gather, to get together things to send to the Philippines. And sometimes, sometimes if, um, if I don't have enough to put in my bags, I'm going to go shopping in my closet. <laughs> So, ganyan lang ang buhay dito sa America. Sometimes when I can, I have this one, I have uh, uh, six of this for now to, to put it in my box. Let me see. I have a bar of soap, guys, that I'm going to put in here as well. So, I'm just going to arrange it in a way that I can, like I said, Every nook and cornice in my box, I'll be able to utilize them. And here's the deodorant <laughs> that goes to the Philippines too. I know my husband. My husband used to think that I was uh, not very nice for sending those uh, deodorants back home and borrowed soap. And I'm thinking, you don't know. We like we like anything from from America. I mean, that's what my family are, you know. And my friends, anything from America, even just little things, they like it. Some other friends, some other uh, Kababayan, probably they don't, they have like specific ones, specific likes. 
So, you know, that would be every individual's choices. But it's just a matter of, like I said, not everybody can buy back side the same. <laughs> so, and there's toothbrushes too. <laughs> and then my sister says, oh, toothbrush in the Philippines are just like 10 pesos. And I said, yeah, but if you have the, if you don't have 10 pesos, 10 pesos is 10 pesos, and this is free. <laughs> For them, at least. But this, of course, I buy them. Things, but just one of the things that we can always make fun of, and no, not fun of, but laugh about it. There you go. Uh, uh, shaving cream. <laughs> See, what happened is, my friends, we went to the Philippines together, but in, two, in 2019, November of last year, yeah. So they see what the Philippines is like, and they see the friends, so they think that, yeah, it's kind of nice just to kind of send a care package. And like I said, this one here, lip balm, this friend of mine, she bought like uh, 20 of this lip balm right here, and the hand sanitizer. So uh, that's um, what I'm doing here, just putting them together. <clears throat> and everybody, and then uh, I always put a note for them to share. It's for, to sh it's for everyone to share, not just one person get it. You know, so. How I do Sometimes it's not that perfect, but there's no such thing as perfect in life. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's funny, but it's really not funny, you know. But, uh, lip balm. That's my lip balm. And my sanitizer. <clears throat> Let me just kind of try to save some of this and show you some more later. Here's my lipstick, guys. I mean, I got this at, of course, a dollar store. Like I said, that's I have 50 of them. <laughs> so, you know, one of the family member or the friend will get one of this. And I was told that they're happy to get it. So I'm sending 50 of this. And I, and I have, like, those lip balm. My friend bought, like, 20. So there's just two in a package. So that's 40 of them. And everybody can share, too. So I'm just gonna arrange this in my box. Make sure that, like I said, I will take up, you know, put everything. I don't have a, a void. I wanna make sure that I don't have a void spaces. See, I'm going to send some few socks as well. Uh, it's for girls, women, and men's. So just to kinda, and then here's the razor. I have like a, three packs of razors also and look i'm gonna send a sharpie also <laughs> hey you know it's something little things but to me it's kind of like fun for them to have because this is like to me of course where my family from or my friends where i'm from these are like you know you need it but it's not a necessity but if you get some might as well you know, use it and, and be happy with what you get because you, you just don't go out and buy this things. <clears throat> there, guys, you know, those five uh, boxes of this, I have to take them out of the box so that it will save me space. I put it in a Ziploc, and these are all the uh, five times five, it's like 15 bars and I just put it in here it saves a lot of space and also with those uh, uh, hot cho uh, the, the milk chocolate drink the hot cocoa mix I'm gonna put them take them out of the box also to save me room so that's what I'm doing that's how I do with my box I just think about it too guys uh, uh, to those who was kind of was wondering also um, I was a college dropout <laughs> in the Philippines. When I left the Philippines, I only had like two years in college and I studied a, a Bachelor of Science in Education, but only two years. So, um, and then I got married and moved to America. And then I, when I got here, I decided to pursue 
my really dreams to be a nurse. So I get my associate degree here in America. So when I left the Philippines, like I said, I was a college dropout. I wasn't really proud of it, but hey, you know, uh, things that I, I do, well, I guess I have done. So like I said, my daily interaction is Americans. I've been here, here not very long. It's only been 20 uh, six years, but I did my associate degree here and I work with the Americans. I don't have a whole lot of uh, interactions with Tagalog, Filipino around here because there's not very many, I think, in, in my home, my little town. So that's why pretty much I speak English. But when I call the Philippines, when I talk to my uh, family, of course it's Cebuano or Visaya. By the way, shout out sa mga, mga paisana sa Cebu City, sa Talisay, sa um, Tampilisan, sa Dipolog City, Philippines, sa, oh, Camarines, or uh, shout out to you guys. So I just don't mention names because there's a lot of names to mention. I might not be able to to pronounce it right. But yeah, Camarines Sur, uh, Manila City, uh, uh, let me see. And then also, uh, thanks for the subscribers, subscriber and viewer from uh, WKU and also in Henderson, Kentucky and Harvard, Indiana. Shout out to you too. And UK, UK and uh, Doha, Qatar, Taiwan. Yeah, ta no, yeah, Taiwan, Taiwan. And then, uh, let me see, uh, uh, Sparta, Tennessee. Uh, thank you so much for the support, everyone. Every now and then, I'll say some Cebuano if I can, you know, like, think of it. <laughs> but, yeah, salamat, salamat sa tanan, kahit kaya kong bisaya, dai. But uh, no matter what, I really appreciate for the support of everyone and, and also to the subscribers from the uh, Phil and Simply Living in, in America. That's, you know, that's very kind of you guys to support my channel also. And I know I have a lot of, I have a lot, I still kind of like to I enjoy doing this. I should say so maybe I still gonna do the mukbang of course by myself <laughs> so but like just to kind of get to know me you know what I do what uh, I left the Philippines I was a college dropout I get my education here and uh, oh by the way can you tell I'm tall I'm only 5'1 <laughs> so that's how little I am I guess so so <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I know I, I know some of you were kind of asking uh, or wondering. Feel free to ask questions. If I don't feel comfortable answering the questions, I would not address it. But if I'm comfortable, then yeah, I'll address it. So a uh, few facts about me is that right there. You know, I got my education here. I get my uh, my education part of it. That is. Most of it in the Philippines, uh, associate degree here. I work in the health, uh, healthcare, you know, health profession for uh, 14 years now. So anyhow, but before that, you know, I work for the uh, insurance company also here. So anyhow, that's a little bit uh, a synopsis summary of my life <laughs> in America. So guys, that's how I do my hot cocoa mix. I unbox them all and then just spread them in my the top of my box so that I can have um, plenty of room for all of them. So there's five boxes. No, there's five boxes of a 50 package, 50 pack, 50 packet in a box. So that's that 250 plus this little one so this one here i have like 300 pieces of this in this box for now and then i'll put on top of that is my raisins <laughs> i only have two of that and then i have noodles gonna just to top it off and i cover the the little there's kind of like a little air you know space here 
that I can put a little something and I'm gonna do that to kind of just tap it off before I close it so there it is guys I went ahead and put my decorative uh, pillowcase on top of it and then I closed them up and I'm gonna show you what the bed look like after I unbox everything <laughs> There, those are the empty boxes now. It's a mess. I will clean it up, clean it up tomorrow because it is like 11.30 at night already. But at least I got that done. I got my box full so I don't have to shop in my closet or get some more uh, stuff from the store. So I'm going to try to see if I can at least close my box for now. Guys, I'm so funny, but I mean... I know I'm little, but I'm closing this back all by myself. But uh, I'm just gonna, this is just where I got my husband. My husband, I sent this up for me tomorrow because what I, what I normally do is I let my husband tie this around my box for easy, uh, his easy handling. So for now, I'm just, just going to do this and just going to finish this up for me tomorrow, hopefully. So, yes, I am married, guys. I am married. Uh, I am married to a white guy. <laughs> Not just being funny. I'm just joking. Yeah. I'm married to an American. That's how I came to, to America. But he is but guys he is so camera shy so i'm doing all this he says and i even asked him i said can at least i borrow your voice and he says no so <laughs> anyhow but maybe eventually i'll be able to uh coax him to uh join in the video with me you'll never know <laughs> oops a second so guys thanks for watching and maraming salamat Salamat kaayo sa mga taga, uh, mga Cebuano, mga Bisaya na na nag uh, uh, support sa ko ah. So thank you very much and also like I said shout out to all. Oh you know what? I was just so excited. I got my first uh, 300 subscribers. <laughs> I cannot believe that I would even get that much but you know I'm having a good time trying to show you guys what life in uh, in America is through my little world so uh, please subscribe my channel and like my video if this is something that you like watching and uh, and thank you again thank you thank you thank you so much sa mga nag support sa ako ah and sa mga Cebuano Bisaya sa tanan nga nag join na nag subscribe sa sa YouTube you guys have a safe day it's actually a good morning now in the philippines i think so i will see you guys later and hopefully i'll be have i'll have some more of my um of my video soon oh i'll tell you what i have uh i have an order of a fried turkey tomorrow too since it's my day off so i am going to fried turkey tomorrow actually I'm, i have an order of uh, a turkey a big bird and an order of fried whole chicken a small bird so i'm gonna do that tomorrow so of course actually my husband is helping me but i'm gonna do that that's part of what i do like i have my cake and whatever who whatever they want order if i know how to do it i'll make it and that's how again i make my my extra box <laughs> So you guys have a good day and, and be safe and I will see you soon.